Hey, what's up, Bob's a head. Yeah, and look, I screw up right out the gate. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it is the day after Christmas. We're filming this. Just so you know, we're a little bit run ragged and tired. <laughs> uh, it is another mix it up reactions. I am your host, Joel Hawkins, and as always, my co-host Jones. You, you did the Al Borland sign off. Yeah, I just okay. wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> so today <laughs> we're going to be doing Avenge Sevenfold. I won't see you tonight. Part one. Now they did tell me that uh, this is. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to give it all away, but they said it was like based like part one and two is like similar topic of like suicide. So it's okay. It's from different perspectives. The first one I think is. I can't remember if he said the first one is from the perspective of someone committing suicide. And the second one is from the pers perspective of someone who loved the person who committed suicide. I can't gotcha. remember if it was reversed or. Okay. But uh, so we're going to check out a bench sevenfold. I won't see you tonight. Part one. And next video we're going to do. I won't see you tonight. Part two. And then we're going back on a BTS tear. Oh, and then we're going to play another video, which a, f a fan ended up sending us. And we're going to check it out. I'm not going to say it right now because I want to wait. Mainly because I forgot what the name <laughs> of the artist was. It was something simple like XG or GX. GX. Or, no, no, I don't think it was GX. I thought that's what you said earlier. Remember that? It's like XG or XM radio. I don't know. It was something like that. So we're going to check that out. Uh and uh, then we're going to hit some more BTS and then we're going to, I don't know, we'll splice it up and play with it. Uh, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when new videos are coming out. And don't forget to check out our merch. <laughs> now, here's what's cool. If you use the pro promo code 520 in our store, mk5store.com, uh, you get 20% off. So. We are right now, we have five different designs that are getting for approval from the print shop and they're all over prints. One of them nice. is actually really cool. It's a quote from Nelson Mandela. Oh, that's by Barcode Original. Oh, okay. Okay. We're going to start selling their stuff because they're a boutique design shop. And they're going to start selling stuff through our store, which they do through a bunch of other people's stores too. But uh, it's actually pretty cool. It's a good deal design. You know what? I'm not going to find you. But if you need to know the promo code again, it's vibe 20. Uh, you'll see it at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started watching. I won't see you tonight. Part one. Part one. I think it's coming. The first one is from the perspective of the person. Cause it's, I won't see you tonight. So of the person either person could say that but yeah yeah i guess so. <laughs> well <laughs> technically both yeah you're right yeah okay let's see this ah, this is a depressing subject and i'm sitting here making jokes i'm sorry i apologize it's a song but let's check it out Simple. oh there we go for a second there i thought it didn't it wasn't working correctly again <laughs> Oh, you didn't save the file. Dang it. Yeah, that's happened a few times. <laughs> Love the pieces they have in here, man.
Your thoughts first. I'll let you take first crack. I got a lot to say, but I'll let you take first crack. Well, suicide is a very touchy subject. I don't want to say too much to offend anybody or anything because everybody has different perspectives on it. True. And have been through different things regarding it. Or not at all. Or not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. then you would have a different perspective, of course. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, it's hard for me to understand somebody that takes their own life, though. Well, I, as someone who has, when I had six nerves misfiring in my jaw and an infection close to my brain, Mm -hmm. (laughs) uh, I understand having that kind of pain, pure malevolent pain, can't do anything about it. Like chronic pain. I know people who've dealt with that like most of their life and I'm amazed they have who've tried everything, multiple things, nothing ever works. Mm -hmm. And they, and then when they either, they get addicted to opioids or something like that because of trying everything, trying to make this pain go away. And then you have a whole new set of problems because the minute you stop taking an opioid, what happens? Your pain worsens, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I can understand why someone would think I need to get out of this. I can't be here anymore. I get that because in reality, when you want that pain to end and you want that suffering, that mental anguish and everything, you're not thinking about anybody else. You're Mm -hmm. not thinking about a future. You're not thinking about it. You're thinking about the sweet relief of not having to deal. Yeah. And not having to feel it. And that's why people do it. I mean, sometimes it could be psychosis if you have mental health issues or something like that. Sometimes it could just be, you know, voices in your head, but that's a very small percentage of people. Most likely it's depression, manic depression, and a multitude of other things where it's like the only way you see out is that. I can't, I can't, I can't neglect someone else's pain and put mine over it and act like that's more important. I can't do that. I've tried. I I've had that attitude where it's like, I don't understand. Why would you do this? You did this to all these people. It's not about all these other people. It's about them not being able and not having the tools or the help or whatever it may be. And just finding a way out. That's what it is. I mean, especially soldiers and uh, the mental health issues they have to deal with. Like when, when it's mental <clears throat> health issues, those are different because you have well, other things affecting it that all of that is mental health issues. No. That's not how it works. So it'll always be mental health issues. Like you don't know what people are dealing with in their life. Like I just found out someone I'd know I'd met a couple of times. was very cool as a down to earth. She actually became very popular as a Instagram influencer or not influencer. She was just having fun, you know? Mm-hmm. But uh, she came really popular, had like 4 million viewers and everything else. And she ended up committing suicide. And I was kind of stunned because I knew she had mental health struggles, but I didn't know because she always talked like it was past tense. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that it was actively happening more, you know? I mean, she talked about it, but she didn't talk about it like it was prevalent, Mm-hmm. You know, she made it seem like it was past tense or it was something, oh, I had a rough day a couple of days ago, but how are you guys doing? You know, like yeah, that's yeah. kind of the way it was. And it's just that, that faux thing that you put in front of everything where you're like trying to protect everyone else from sometimes knowing what you're going to do, mm-hmm. which sucks. But I mean, I I love the song. They really handle it perfectly and honestly. Like the one part where he's like, um, uh, oh, sorry, my brain is just not that good. Uh, the one part where he's like, don't follow me. Mm-hmm. Like that was very poignant to that whole phrasing was like, please don't follow me. Like he's, he's in pain. He wants to leave. Don't take that as a reason for you to do the same. You know, like mm-hmm. I'm giving up. You don't have to. You know, and that's kind of a different thing, but I would think that that would be part of it too. You know, I'm trying to end my pain, my suffering. I mean, look at Robin Williams, perfect prime example. Mm -hmm. 
he didn't want to completely become someone who was a burden on his family and waste away in front of them. And he didn't want to torture them because I've seen how when people get into dementia or Alzheimer's and things like this, and they exist as kind of a 16th of their self. Yeah. And they just exist. And that's all it is. And you get lucky when you have moments of salinity, but there's no guarantee that'll ever happen. And then you as a family member gets frustrated because it's like, I want to talk to the person I love. Mm -hmm. And then it's just, you have this mess of subconscious and past thoughts and mixings and sometimes even complete fabrications. It seems in some ways, you know, like they're acting like a completely different person because they don't have their personality in their memories. They just have the whole entire experience of what they've experienced without their personal memories really Mm -hmm. attached to it. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, if you heard straight up cussing and the worst people in the world for like the first 20 years of your life, and that's the time you went back to and you have no personal memories or associations, well, you're going to act like whoever you heard or remember, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult to go through that. And I understand why Robin Williams did it because in all honesty, I wouldn't want to burden my family. And like, I like the song and Avenge Sevenfold by far. Still, the band that literally can have one song that sounds like an epic three course meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, even the the small little classical pieces, then they had more synth strings in the center, and then they pulled in solos, which the solo can literally play in the background of a hip hop movie, of a country movie, of a guy on a horse going into a small town. Like, like just literally about to blaze guns you know dirty harry style or something like it's just that the the solos they have on that song it just can't go with anything it can play behind anything you could be going and ordering a burger at mcdonald's and it'd be a great soundtrack for behind it i'll have one big mac we are not sponsored by mcdonald's anyways but um yeah i don't know i've talked too much in this episode Mainly because I have stories, you know that. Yeah, well, I mean that's that's part of it, so it's, it's okay. Lachine. Yeah. What else you got to say about it? I will say if you are feeling that way, please talk to somebody first. I don't care who it is. Talk to somebody. Nobody is alone. Everybody at some point feels they're alone, but ain't nobody alone. Out of what seven? Are we at eight billion yet? Yeah. We're probably at eight by now. We've crossed it. I think like a month ago or two months ago okay. or something. Eight billion people, you're not alone. You're not the only person going through it. A lot of people feel it. At all. So talk to somebody, shit. Yeah. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification to know when new uh, videos and stuff like that are coming out. I did have a brain fart for half a second. I've done that, what, a hundred and some odd times now? No, 86, 87, something like that. 89, 90. Uh... Also, check out our merch stuff. Remember, use promo code VIBE20 in the cart and you get 20% off your order. So have fun. Buy some shiznit. You have to buy five things to get the 20? No, just whatever. Oh, okay. There's even a sticker in there. Ooh. Yeah. Sticker. It's it's like a $7 sticker. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's not small or anything, but it's a $7 sticker and I'm like, why? But some people want, if they have a little bit of money, they're like, I don't really care about the item. I'll just donate in this way, but at least I get something yeah. from it, you know, which I get that completely. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> it's a $7 <laughs> sticker. It makes me feel uncomfortable selling it <laughs> in any way, shape or form. But um, yeah, so check out the store and all that good stuff, but, which by the way, our, our markup on that is not good. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get there. Make like $2 off this sticker. I'm like, $5 for a sticker? <laughs> Y'all are wrecking me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and with 20% off, that means we'll make 40 cents. Yeah, <laughs> big 40. Because it'll come out of our cut. It's not coming out of their cut. But um. The printer. So get anyway, two stickers, please. Yeah, get two stickers. <laughs> no, just buy a t-shirt or something. It'd be better for you. It'd be more useful. You could wear it around the house and show off to your friends and family. Be like, ha ha, I got a t-shirt and you don't know who they are. <laughs> That'd be the perfect time to tell them. That, that, okay. There you go, yeah. And then they, they also can like and subscribe. Uh-huh.